So the day has finally come to fulfill my idea of making my Taurus SHO sound like a GTR or a twin turbo 2017 Ford GT with a titanium exhaust. So in my last video, I explained my idea of how I was going to do it. I never exactly explained placement of all the different pieces, but after some thinking and uh, trial and error and finding the right pieces, I think I've come up with a combination to make this work. Because you've probably been scratching your head wondering since the last video, how in the world am I going to fit an X-pipe set up uh, just before the rear of the car. Well, there's an easy way I'm going to do it and I'm just about to show you. This, this is the setup. This isn't done yet. What needs to happen is uh, I measured and I need to measure just again when I bring the car in here to remove the tailpipes that the center of the X pipe, and if you've noticed, it's actually in a different orientation. I'll get to that in a minute. But this will actually fit between the spare tire well and the rear bumper. It fits perfectly in that space. So from the center point here, if lined up into the center of the rear, it is 46 inches wide, center point being 23. So I have to definitely make some extensions on uh, the outlet pipes here and the uh, inlet pipes here. Now, if you see how I have this set up, currently I have uh, the tips on the car. They're cut about eight or uh, 24 inch tips. So I might have to make some extensions here as well. But these come off, this uh, goes on to right where I cut the rear, the mufflers off. It comes into the X pipe. Now you might think, well, that's not going to work. That's not how an X-pipe works. Usually you have both your flows going this way and crossing that way. Well, theoretically, it will work either way uh, because it's still crossing over each other. But this is more of a aggressive crossover than if it was coming in this way, which is kind of a lot of the importance of doing this this way is because the setups on the mid-engine cars have a very aggressive crossover as well. Exhaust comes in, these pipes, crosses this way, crosses that way, exits out these pipes, will go right out the back of the car. They might need to be trimmed, I do not know. Uh, this is two and a half inch coming in, exiting out three inch. So I'm hoping this gives a really, really unique sound and uh, the sound that I'm, I'm looking for. So this is what's going to hopefully give the magical GTR exhaust note. Now I bet you're really intrigued. I am extremely excited and I don't want to wait any longer explaining myself. So I'm just going to start getting right to it and pulling the car in, unbolting exhaust and getting this on the car so we can listen to it. By the end of this video, it sounds a lot different. So the first order of business is getting these tailpipes uh, loosened up and taken off. So we can start fitting the first set of pipes onto the car and that way I can get my measurements for the extensions I'm going to need to the center for the uh, X-pipe. Okay, let's try this again. Man, I tell you, 
That makes all the difference. This pain in the ass job made it easy was brought to you by PB Blaster. Never get angry at stuck bolts again. We can cut another problem. A little bit of water does not do this any good. So we're gonna need to beat the crap out of it to get it out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that made a hell of a mess. Alright, one down, one to go. Oh, that's nasty. All right, update. Sorry that I'm not being more attentive with the camera work. Uh, I am working against my own time. And of course, daylight. And it is really hard to do all of this at, by yourself and film. But I'm gonna do my best and I'm just gonna give an update on what the progress and what I've got done so far. So let's go in the car and take a peek. As you can see here, this is where my tips came off. They attached right here. Then they ran and of course exited, but what's happening is now, let's go around. Here's the X pipe tucked up right behind the bumper and the spare tire well. And of course it will exit up there and then come out. And this is where I'm at now is the, uh, elbows that are going to come out obviously oh pardon me pardon me obviously they're not going to be nearly long enough so i definitely need to uh cut a piece right there and fill the gap and then uh then it should be done so let's do that and uh finish this shall we all right another update so while that looks stupid as all hell, obviously this needs to be zoop. But, take a peek. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. It's almost like it was made to do that. Almost. It ain't pretty, but it ain't supposed to be pretty. Bad part is, I need another piece. I need another pipe like this because I, I didn't think right. So I need to real quick run to the store, cut it, and I think I'll be done. And then we can start it. I haven't even started yet. I'm like, nope, I ain't starting it. I'm gonna wait until I'm done and you know, I hear it the first time you hear it. So let me get to the store. I'm gonna be back, finish it up, and then we can start it. So the moment has finally come to start the car. And it looks a bit ridiculous. It still needs some tucking up. And I can use the factory hanger locations in the rear to help bring it up. But right now, that's how it is. I mean, it kind of looks, I don't know. Anyway, it's all about sound. So let me start the car and see if there's at least any difference at idle. some dry bias. I, I gotta go drive the car. Hold on.
It's been a day later. I still have some things to do um, with the exhaust. Things have loosened up uh, after driving around a little bit yesterday, which was to be expected. I have like 30 freaking clamps. Uh, I need to shorten a couple pieces of pipe so it can sit up under uh, better, not push on the uh, plastic um, bumper cover there, rear bumper cover. You know, after that, I think we'll be okay. I think it'll be okay to drive around. It's just, I have to get these certain pieces tightened up because it's just gonna fall apart. And that's not gonna be fun going down the road. I also need to cut these. I need to just mark them probably, I don't know, somewhere just inside here and cut it down. And that way I can uh, maybe work on some nicer options for the tips. But for now, that's what it'll have to be. I'm gonna get a cold start on how it sounds after sitting all night. Um, although there's probably a couple spots it's leaking. I just wanna see how different it sounds now on a true cold start. does have a higher pitch tone and I guess that was to be expected from the X-Pipe now wasn't it um well let's get the car pulled back up on the ramps I'm going to do this off camera to get it done as quick as possible because the main thing I want to show case in the video here is the sound of course uh so so there is the mostly finished product I took it off the car uh kind of cleaned up all of the uh, gaps and stuff and tightened everything down nicely made the cuts on the tips and also made cuts on the pipes that go into the uh, uh, input side of the of the exhaust here um, and cut them down a little bit shorter and so they fit a little bit tighter and so they're not pushing the whole piece up against the rear bumper like it was so it should sit uh, perfectly in the middle there rather than kind of just pushed up against the back so that uh, that should be fine but now that we got it all together I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with a light coat of paint just to make it look a little bit nicer while it's under the car um, and uh, protect it from rust of course I'm not planning to keep this as a permanent thing but I'm gonna at least let, let it last long enough to do a few more things before I'm done with this whole project so let's go ahead and get a coat of paint on it and then we'll throw it back on the car all right, checking up on the piece here. Hey, it looks pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad. So let's get it and uh, slap it in the car. You know, I don't even know. It definitely sounds different. So the 4GT uh, with the titanium exhaust sounds, mm, it doesn't sound like a GTR, but it sounds more like a GTR than any other EcoBoost engine and exhaust combination that, you know, that exists. And this has more of that sound, I think, but something, uh, something to keep in thought. The 4GT, 
uh, has probably a total of you know a few feet three four feet of piping before it's already at the back this is still going from the front of the engine through all the cats the resonator then coming back finally to the end so I think maybe the resonator and the cats are altering the tone of it but it definitely I think sounds a lot better there's an improvement regardless than just having the muffler delete. So I think I will continue to improve on this design and eventually would love to have it welded up and done professionally when financially able to do so. And I think I'm gonna try this before that and do a resonator delete and see if that changes the tone any and or replace the resonator with some different type of muffler. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And if you want to see more content like this in the next videos following up, then please subscribe to the channel and keep a lookout for the next video.